Hi everybody. Thanks for joining me for the fifth and final uh, one of our convertible conversations this week where we're talking about Christ living his life not only uh, in us and not only through us but actually as us where he uses our body and our mind and our personality and our speech and everything about us to actually live his life um, to minister to other people and just to live life because we're incapable of uh, doing the kinds of things that he can do because obviously because he's God. So talking about Jesus living in us. A lot of times uh, I've taught about and heard other pastors talk about how church with a capital C, meaning, you know, the people of God who gather together in different places and can be two or three together at a coffee shop or a thousand at a church setting or whatever, you know. But any any time, really any time people are together because we're all in God's family, um, that the, some of the dynamics of that should be, uh, if things are working really right, a place where we love unconditionally and are loved unconditionally, where we know, really know deeply the other people and they know us and where we serve other people and they serve us, where we know and we're known, we love and we're loved, we serve and we're served, and where we celebrate and are celebrated. So today I wanna to talk about letting Jesus live as you in celebrating. And by that I mean celebrating the neat things that are going on in someone's life. You know, if you have a friend who has a new baby or a new grandchild, or maybe they get a promotion at church, or maybe they get some good news that their cancer's in remission or whatever, things like that, really celebrating with them, being a part of their joy with them, being happy for them, and celebrating with them, being a part of their life as they do that. Now, that's not that hard to do uh, when a friend has a baby or a new grandchild or, or something like that. Um, it's a little harder to do when you work with someone and they get um, maybe promoted or elevated or a raise or a bonus or something for doing something at work that maybe even that you did, <laughs> that they're taking credit for, or when there's something that you think, I could have done that better, or maybe they get recognized or promoted for something and you're thinking, gosh, last week I did this and it seems to me like that was even more worthy of this and I didn't get any recognition at all. When we're able to, and it takes, most of the time it takes Jesus doing this as us because it's hard for us to do. When we're able to celebrate with them and enjoy with them and get our eyes off of ourselves and having it not be about us and literally celebrating and taking part in their joy Boy, that's a, that's a cool thing for us and for them and for everybody else uh, who watches. Uh, you know, people notice that type of thing. And we don't do it to be noticed, but people do notice those kinds of things. And they go, wow, there's, you know, there's something different about them. When you're playing a game with somebody, I mean, I, used, I was so, I'm still competitive, but I was so competitive, I just hated to lose. I would do anything to win, you know, whether it's playing Scrabble or playing tennis or play, whatever it was, you know. Um, and when I didn't win, uh, I was not always pleasant to be around, you know, that type of person. What God has been doing in me, and I'm not perfect at this, and it's all him, because it's certainly not my nature, but when, what God has been doing in me has been, is uh, finding myself as happy or even happier for the other person when they win, because I can participate in their joy and literally celebrate with them. My wife is very good at that. And she's, uh, it kind of comes maybe naturally for her. Uh, she's always done it, but some of us have to work at that. But literally celebrating with other people when they beat you at a game or they, or maybe for pastors when somebody else's church grows and good things happen and maybe that's not happening in your church, celebrating with them and taking joy with them. So just something to think about today, letting Jesus live as you and celebrating with other people. Okay, that's the end of my message. Now, I'm gonna take off my uh, teaching hat and uh, just be a little silly here, but maybe some of you also can celebrate with uh, those of us Kansas Jayhawks who are ranked number one in basketball. Hope they will be <laughs> by the time you watch this. Uh, and even if they're not your team, you can celebrate our joy and celebrate with us. And we can do that 
with your team, maybe even when your team beats us and they're ranked number one. It goes both ways, doesn't it? Thanks a lot. See you next week.